Hi guys and welcome to another video from your boy Shane Alex 91 Today guys I'm going to be doing my team of the year prediction or my vote shall I say um, Just a disclaimer out there, these are the, I'm going to put some players in there that do deserve it of real life football But I'm going to obviously put some players in there that I want to see getting the team of the year It's a football game, I want to see some of these cards in the game I don't necessarily think that they've had the best season maybe, but sometimes my bias is going to get the better of me, if you understand, because I'm assuming that everybody else has got a little bit of bias in their teams. So with the keeper, I don't care what anybody says, Mendy. Mendy is my guy. He's got to go in there. I think he's had the best season out of those good keepers anyway. Um, yeah, Mendy is definitely a guy. Right, so you don't need to choose just centre-backs, just right-backs. But there's one player in this whole bunch of defenders who I think fully deserves it more than anybody else. Um, there's one defender, and I think it's Jal Cancelo. He's the one for me that fully deserves to be in this team of the year. Because he's had a phenomenal year, and he's playing so well for City now. So he definitely deserves it, I think. And then, when you look at, like, whilst people have done Spinner Zoll has been okay, but for me... He was injured. He got injured. He had a really, really good tournament and then got injured. Same with Shaw. He did really, really well. And then just fell off when the new season came. So, I am going to choose... This might be a little bit controversial. Where has he gone? Marquinhos, for me, I think gets in. I think these three should be locks for performances and stuff. And then I'm going to go with Ruben Diaz, who's been also quite sensational... I wanted to choose Rudiger first, but I'm not too sure about him. Kyle Walker, no. Trippier, definitely not. Spinners all screen, yeah, sure, no. Romero, I have no idea why. Maybe because Argentina did really, really well in the um, Copa America. Hakimi, don't, I don't know why Gunter's here. Alfonso Davis. I mean, if you're going off... See, if you're going off... From what I've previously done, they've had really, really good seasons. Then it's either Keely and or Benucci, isn't it? It's which one? Maybe both of them should get in. But I'd, see, I don't see them doing very well with Juventus the whole season. So why should they get in? So I'm going to go with a bit of bias, and I'm going to go with Luke Shaw because I support United. I want. Why can't I drag him in? I support United. Why not? Eh? Do you know what I mean? Right, Bruno Fernandez is in. Sorry. I'm sorry, but I've seen a lot of people put Kevin De Bruyne in there, and they get a lot of comparisons, these two. I've seen a lot of people put Kevin De Bruyne in here. But I think I don't think he's had as, as good a season as Bruno Fernandes. Yeah, he won the Premier League, fair enough. But I've seen Messi win the Ballon d'Or before when he won nothing. Um, yeah, I really... I, I feel like my bias is getting ahead of me. I want Bruno in there. Over anything else. And then I think Kante goes in. I want to put Jorginho in there, but Jorginho's not going to win, is he? So what is the point in me? I'm just going to waste a vote. I'm just literally wasting a vote. So I'm going to pick Kyung-Ming Son. <clears throat> Another bias. Everyone wants some. For the strikers, Cristiano Ronaldo's going in. Don't care what anybody says. Cristiano, my boy, is definitely going in. And we're going to go with Lionel Messi. And the next one's very, very tricky. Who'd you pick? Do you go off Lewandowski, who's had a phenomenal year? Or I'm going to go with Mo Salah. That is my lock-in. This one. So we got Mendy, Joao Cancelo, Marquinhos, Ruben Diaz, Luke Shaw, Kante, Bruno, Son. I don't know why Son's a, a midfielder, by the way. It doesn't make sense. Messi, Ronaldo, Salah. Very Premier League heavy. But don't we want it to be Premier League heavy, guys? You know, we, it's not going to be this Premier League heavy, but we want it to be. Imagine this being the team of the year. My god, you could have nearly a full squad. I agree. And submit my vote, baby. Right, guys. We just submitted that. And now I want to show you my preparations for Ultimate Team on the console. So let's go to switch over to the console right now. And finally, you can see me because I don't have my cam set up on my screen capture. Because I, I just don't see the point. What, what, what's the point in me having it up when I hardly use it? So I couldn't be bothered syncing it in or anything like that. Headliners, I'm not too asked about because I think Sal's going to get a team of the year, so he's going to get a better card next week. 
that Fofana card is absolutely amazing. My team of the year preparations, you can see 50 here. Automatically, people think I've got like 50 packs. I've not got 50 packs. Looks like you have some items to deal with. I've invested heavily in League and Rares. Heavily in League and Rares. I want to say, it only shows 50 here. I want to say I've bought about 250 to 300 League and Rares. Most of them for 800 coins. Some of them for 750. Some of them for 700 coins. The reason I've done that is because those packs they're going to bring out in the SBC section, they're going to bring packs like guaranteed league earned players, and you're going to need league earned rares for that. So, all the time when they do that, the league earned rares skyrocket because you've got Neymar, you've got Mbappe, you've got Messi. A PSG player is 100% getting in the team of the year. So people are going to try and do them as well as trying to get Mbappe and Neymar. And I'll show you. Let's see if they've gone up. I don't think they have gone up yet. They might even run down due to... Um... Look, I can literally get them now. So they have... They're not discard anymore. I could literally sell them for what I bought them for now, 800. We go 900. I could probably sell them for 900 too. Let's go to a thousand. A thousand's probably the limit. Yeah, a thousand's probably the limit now. Look, eight fifty for him already on bid. So I've already made some coins, but they're just gonna go up and up and up and up. And I'll show you why. Because you're guaranteed. It's usually you're guaranteed like rares from League Earn. Like they usually give you like three rares those packs. If you if you submit like it's usually six six League Earn players or a full League Earn team and six rares. That's what they usually do. And it's usually like super, super high. So these are all the rares that are in League 1. There isn't many. There isn't many at all. When you think about every other league. So you've got three there. 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 20. Yeah, that's 23. 33. 43. 53 rares in the whole of League 1 and you'll be guaranteed three of them. So you'll be get you 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 look at the fodder that's in this league. Yeah, fair enough you might get a lot of G like Navases and Maquinos and varieties. Maquinos might even get in Di Maria. But you you'll be able to pack these three. These three everybody wants these three in their team. So that's one of my prep one of my preparation. And another one is to save every single pack. Every single pack. I don't think I can go into the store at all because of that. But yeah, I want to save every single pack. So, Division Rivals, Boat Champions. If you get something in Friendlies, like any objective pack, even if it just contains one rare, save it. You never know, like these, I'll do these. I'll just save these packs. Why not? Why not? And I'll do the Silver Bees now. I'll even... I'll do the Silver Bees with the... Silver Icon Swap, Stoker now, and I'll be able to get this squad battle thing done. Like, I'll have a Mega Pack, I'll have the Marquee Matchups, I'll have whatever SBCs come out. I'll have all them packs, hopefully I've got about 50 packs saved up, and a couple of biggies, as well as the Icon Swap tokens packs. Because I'm taking the two biggies. Uh, where are we? Taking these two. The 83 times 25 and the 82 times 25. This one's 5. That's three. I need eight tokens to complete that. And then job's a good one. I'll open them last. I am definitely going to do a video on a pack opening. So be sure to watch that. Boy, spin your boy. Share Alex 91 And I'm out, y'all. Peace.